Do you know what day it is at the time of recording this live on Twitch right now? It is Father's Day. Mushoku Tensei specifically delayed an episode so that today's episode would land just on Father's Day. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I feel like someone's gonna die. I feel like they've been setting up death flags and not just setting them up, explicitly saying, ha ha ha, yo, those are famous last words. I got a feeling that Zenith is gonna die on Father's Day. Nah, it's probably gonna be Paul, right? It's probably gonna be Paul. My mind is fully prepared for this. I was ready for a character death ever since the moment of Turning Point 3. Here we go. The plan is for Paul to die. Healing scroll. Scroll, scrolls. We have a pretty cracked party, right? Okay. Yes. No. He already did last fucking episode. Wait, did he? so wait, 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 wait. These are not death flags. This is like a news. I had to say this given the situation we're in. What was he gonna say here? Don't say it then. Is this some kind of news that we don't know about right now? What's going on? Oh, oh. He's probably gonna say it on his fucking dying breath after we get home. Another flag right there. Another fucking flag. What's the episode today? Title. Oh, they're not gonna fucking show us the episode title. At the end of the episode, they're gonna show the episode title. What's the title gonna be? Happy Father's Day? Rest in peace, Paul? It, 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 it's gotta be some super spoiler fucking title, right? We'll see at the end. Maybe the title's gonna be GOTCHA BITCH! And Tallhand dies. And no one cares. And Paul survives. And they're gonna be like, ah, gotcha. Mm, baited you. Baited you. Who knows? Looking kinda like a boss's room. Yon died. Is Zenith behind it? Is Zenith behind it? Yes, Zenith is behind Why is she fucking naked? She's fucking naked doing this right now. What? So like the, the and like the guardian of the labyrinth is also like, like um holding her hostage. It's it's like what is she? Is it just like a prize, like a dragon hoarding a treasure? I don't know. No magic. Okay, then the sword's cutting though. Daddy's looking so cool right now. And you know why this is even more of a concern? <laughs> because they're gonna make him look fucking good. They're pouring all the fucking movie budget onto him because this is the fucking last episode. Come on, Paul! <laughs> I think she just saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here goes Paul. Him. There's some kind of barrier, yeah. So it's looking like magic doesn't work, but physical attack does. Paul could cut, but our magic doesn't work. Either we dispel the barrier, brute force it, or it's looking pretty fucking bad. Of course, the one fucking boss that we're against, magic doesn't work against, man. This is... Oh, dude. Oh, we gotta fucking really rely on Paul right now then, huh? Break the barrier, somehow. Energy grows. Of course it does. Is he actually gonna fucking die because he got too upset when we had the option to escape? If we didn't have an option to retreat, if we didn't, if we were truly stuck here and Paul died, I would be less upset. But like, if he's gonna fucking die because he got fucking mentally shaken while we could have escaped. Hey, no, no, he's convinced. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. Safe, but I'm getting baited. I'm getting fucking baited. Nah, there's gonna be some bullshit else that happens, right? 
I'm surprised we got out though. Healing. Nice, the scrolls. And Roxy saved their ass. This is good, we made progress. We confirmed it. This is great news. We should re strategize. Okay. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, dude. Are we actually gonna fucking fight? Are we gonna act? Is he gonna die on bad terms with Rudy? This is like season one fucking 2.0 again, dude. That is scaring me. Yeah, it's just, you know, Rudy's an isekai character. What the fuck does he care about Zenith so much, right? He was too busy looking at her fucking titties and getting horny. Ah! 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 Is it They 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 really have to fucking flash Rudy fucking dick, bro. Why why they gotta do that? Why they gotta fucking? I think we're gonna be banned. I don't think we're gonna be banned. I think that like there is clear intention on what fan service is and trying to be looted not. I don't think this is gonna affect it. But like imagine we get banned on Twitch. I think it should be. Fine. I think it should be fine. I think we're overreacting. We're I think we're being too fucking cautious. I think it's gonna be fine. But if I get banned. Because of Pedro Tensei. All right, we continue. Let's go. Let's go. We continue. 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 Let's go. We I feel like Paul's in the fucking wrong, man. I feel like Paul is in the complete wrong here. Even though I understand why he would be upset, like, this is not a time for a fucking parent to be fucking lashing out like this. But this is all from, like, the built-up frustration of taking L after L. I get that. I get that. But, like, right now, he deserves to get fucking punched and calm the fuck down. Because this is the surefire way to get everyone else killed right now. <sighs> Awkward. Alright, we're cool, we're cool. Oh? We don't know, right? Okay. Yeah, and that barrier, that barrier is the biggest fucking problem. What? What? Scales of Zor's mana. So like the barrier isn't the barrier, but the magic was being absorbed as mana there? Is that what's going on? Maybe I'm wrong about it, but clearly magic doesn't work. Point blank range? That kind of defeats the purpose of magic because you're trying to stay ranged, but like point blank magic. If we used our strongest fucking attack, like the one that we used on Bodyguardy, or even like Orsted, would that work? What about the fucking impact because you're so close? <laughs> what do we do? Hydra really? Hercules actually did that? Like, like I remember the Hydra cutting off thing. But if you like burn the fucking wound, you sear it. Really? Huh? But and, like, we're obviously bringing Greek fucking myth. Greek, Greek myth doesn't exist, you know, in Mushoku Tensei world. So like, this is gonna be like super fucking genius play by Rudy to, uh, to them, right? Paul does not look amused. What if it doesn't work though? One strategy! I don't like this with Paul right now. 
俺が即座に焼く場合によっては俺も危険な Has he calmed down? エリナリーゼタルハンド But not Rudy? お前らには今まで世話をかけた<笑> But not Rudy? Well, he wasn't part of the party. We're talking about the shit they were doing before Rudy got here. <laughs> It's kind of funny that Rudy's being excluded, you know? <laughs> This is the last time he says. Deep breath, deep breath. Oh, oh, one for Rudy. Oh, thank fucking God. Oh, I thought that he might fucking die while being on bad terms with Rudy. And then imagine your dad dying while you're on fucking bad terms and you can't take that back. Oh, fuck, that would have been bad. But good. We're kind of reset right now. Things are good again. Stop tripping flags, God damn it! Don't worry, we can come up with the plans. Don't worry, Dad. Santorio, I promise I'll have three wives for you after you fucking die, Dad. I'll have fucking three wives, triple wielding swords. It's the last thing a parent should say. You ready? Cheat on Silphy, go secure Roxy and Eris. Uh, hi. Okay. Save your mom, even if it kills you. But I don't think the main character of this show is gonna die, even if it kills you. What if Rudy goes like extra crazy right now because Paul told him to do this, even if it kills you? Rudy takes this so fucking seriously, and he goes in there, and. He has to get in close range and it's gonna get risky. But he's gonna remember Paul's words and he's gonna go in there. And then what? Do you think Paul's gonna try to fucking protect Rudy or some shit because shit goes wrong and that's how he fucking dies? This could be such a fucking poetic way of ending this fucking whole character story for Paul. This fucking last line here, even if it kills you. I feel like because he said that, because Rudy's so adamant about it and he said yes. Surely they're not fucking setting this up right. Hi! Surely they're not gonna do this right. You motherfuckers are teasing me! Round two, here we go! What are the Hydra's thinking? He's like, oh, they're back already? What the fuck? Alright, round two! I gotta go melee range, Barry. Seer! Oh, that was actually so fucking optimal. This was so fucking optimal because I thought that this is gonna be it. And it is a blocking and then bailing Rudy out. But Paul is like, nah. Here, take another one right now. Okay. Now, if the Hydra was actually really intelligent, what do you think that it should do? What do you think that the Hydra should do when he saw that, huh, my wound got healed up? The Hydra should bite itself and make another fucking empty wound so you can fucking regrow, right? You should bite yourself if you're smart enough. You go this! Yes, <laughs> The animation is going crazy! Oh, heal, heal, heal! Yeah, 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 heal, heal, heal! Nice, nice, nice! Regroup, regroup! Where's Paul? He's still in there! That's like three heads, I think! Nice, 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 nice! Get back up! Why, why now? Why? Everything was going so fucking good. What? 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 Wait, something's not right. What? What is it? What the fuck is it now? Oh, is it the end of it? It is? Smart enough? It 
if you're gonna say pre-watched, here's the thing. I love it when stupid idiots says pre-watched, whether or not you're saying as a meme intentionally, but when you say pre-watched, you know what that tells me? You are self-reporting your room temperature IQ saying that you couldn't make the fucking logical like connection between how it got seared and how it could regrow back. So whenever I hear like <laughs> pre-watched, pre-watched, you're literally telling me how fucking stupid you are and how you weren't able to make that conclusion yourself. And like me, just like a monkey, just watching this and just making that guess that you couldn't connect that gap. I just want you to understand whenever you say pre-watched, you're just showing how fucking stupid you are. We can sear it by ice watching it too. Okay, that's the way to do it. Does it have breath attack? Wait, 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 wait. It, it's got breath attack. <laughs> I like this part. <laughs> I love how they show specifically Roxy hugging Rudy right here. <laughs> you know what would be even funnier? You know what would be so fucking funny right now? <laughs> if they showed this Roxy grabbing on to Rudy and then tall hands. <laughs> My chance finally. <laughs> tall hand just <laughs> grabs Rudy's hand. You're like, what do you, you said so. What do you mean? <laughs> Okay. Oh, we fucking outlasted it. Okay. Where's that? Things are looking pretty good. Things are looking really good right now. Look at it. Don't the flag, 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 flag. Focus. Lock in! Why? 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 Why are we not fucking locked in? This fucking happens. I'm not the completely random tangent. But like, you ever play fighting games? Have you ever played fighting games or anything where stakes are on the line and you think you're gonna win? And the moment that thought creeps up into your head thinking, Oh shit! I can fucking do this, like Elden Ring, any kind of hard game where you're like, I think I can do this. Then you focus about winning and you lose focus about what's going on. You're fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. No, no, no. It's not that bad. It's not that. It's, it's, it's. It's looking pretty bad. I don't think we can walk this one off. <laughs> oh, what the f- I didn't know you could do that! I didn't know you could just fucking- Okay! Bro, just gouge the dragon's eye! It's a high rich dragon. <laughs> The last head? The last head! That's the last head! I don't know what's gonna happen with Rudy's arm now, though. No arm. But, like, what about Paul? We won. But at what cost? Ooh. Prosthetic arm time? Can you just heal a fucking arm back? Probably just like healing the cut off the injury, right? Fucking baited me. Fucking baited me. I, I, I thought like when I saw the arm regrowing, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Baited! I beat a Hydra and only lost my left hand. I think everyone knows what's going on. Paulo got Tasket Kurenakreba, 
死んでいた可能性も高いだろう父さん That is such a fucked scene. I can't even imagine the light novel art. I can't even imagine the fucking manga art, bro. Half his torso just cut off upside down, full out blood draining down. That's why they delayed the episode. That's why they fucking delayed the episode so that this would land on fucking Father's Day, man. What a sick fucking joke. Why? Because you lost focus. You weren't locked in, bro. <laughs> Even though he didn't say anything, I think that you can say that he smiled at the end. He realized that he protected Rudy, he saved Zenith, and that was a smile. That was a fucking smile at the end. Now what? Now what? Oh! Who? This has gotta be the most awkward fucking walk back up. There is nothing you can say right now, Roxy. There is nothing you can say. Special ending, I see. Credits are rolling. No one's asking, where's Paul? The girl behind realized, where's Paul? Where's Paul? Paul's dead. Falls to the knees. Yep. Yep. This is a fucking powerful ass scene, man. Just violin. You just got instrumental, somber, sad soundtrack. You don't hear any dialogue. It's just credits are rolling. How do we recover from this, man? And will we ever know what Paul was going to say before we enter the labyrinth? Remember? What did Paul say? He said he was about to say something. And then Rudy said, not now. I don't want to hear you know, heavy news right now, right? funeral service in the labyrinth okay i'm like did we actually carry paul's body up no we didn't and like clearly this is the regret the man god said that we would feel right you go there you're gonna fucking regret it but if we didn't go then what would have happened they would have never been able to save zenith they would have never been able to traverse down the labyrinth they have no manual they would have never saved roxy it would have been fucking bad right it's just like what could we have done I don't know. It's fucked. I, I don't know. Like, if Roxy would have died, we would have regretted that too for not going. If we went through, we would have regret. It was a lose-lose fucking situation. Is that his bones, I think? We still got more, actually. Zenith? Roxy Nerinarize said that she could get up. There it is! There it is! I swear to fucking god, if she's gonna say who are you, there's no way she has memory loss right now, right? Imagine you lose your fucking dad and you got your mom back and mom lost all her fucking memory. They wouldn't do this shit right now, right? She doesn't recognize because he's older, right?
losing Paul was not even the fucking end of it. Our mom is a fucking vegetable now. Are you serious? Is it just she can't talk or does she have the brain- is the, is the brain working? Does she just need rehab? What is this? What is this? <gasps> Episode 22. Parents. That's the fucking episode. That's the fucking episode. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I- I think we all knew that Paul was gonna die, right? I think everyone knew how uncanny it was the amount of fucking flags, the death flags being set up. Just the constant barrage of flags, 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 and wholesome daddy, and, you know, and son, you know, in a moment, and, and then, of course he was gonna fucking die. But then, it, the worst possible fucking thing is, we had that. We fucking had that. And then he lost fucking focus. And that's what just ruined everything, right? We literally fucking had it at the finish line, and then he lost focus for one single second, and that's the end of it. Paul dies because Rudy lost focus, and we save mom, and she's a fucking vegetable now. now. I don't know what's going on with their brain. Maybe all she needs is speech rehab and she can speak again. Maybe this is because she wasn't able to, you know, talk for 10 years being fucking crystallized like that. I don't fucking know. But right now, it's looking pretty fucking bad. Happy Father's Day, by the way. If you're lucky to still have your dad around, you should give him a call. You should definitely give him a call and tell him how much you love him because, like, parents dying like this, oh my fucking god. Even if Rudy didn't have, like, a special connection because, obviously, they're not his real parents, I'm sure this is gonna fucking haunt him for the rest of his life just because it's his fault. He fucking lost focus and lost it, bro. And he doesn't even have a fucking left arm anymore. I don't even know how that's gonna work. Are we gonna get a new fucking prosthetic arm? Who's gonna save us from the trauma this time? I think it's about time for Ares to fucking show up. Now, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, I don't want to do an outro. I'm, I'm pretty sad.